so we're preparing for the moon launch, otherwise known as getting the entire family in the van to head to town. Same thing as a moon launch, same effort. Uh, let's come show your little dress. You got on a pretty little dress. Oh, you do. And you have cream cheese on your muff. <laughs> we gotta wipe your mouth. Can you put your purple shoes on? Sit down and put your purple shoes on. Come on. You see in there, there's one stuck. Oh, I think he's just, he's a big fish. I can't even get him on there. Yeah. There's these guys here. He, he, yeah, every time, I think I saw him a couple times, like, back up and then his nose, like, bangs on there. Really? So, Naomi, Jade, and Zion and I completed the moon launch, didn't we, Naomi? <laughs> and we just finished up at the dentist having our teeth cleaned. Look at this guy. He says, hey, I want my teeth cleaned, too. It, so, next we're going to head out to a cheap little buffet for lunch, and then we're hitting the eye doctor. We try to get as many of our medical appointments in on one day as possible. It's big fish. Big fish. All right, ma'am, well, let's go find everybody in the van. You got eating your meat on a stick. Naomi, let me see you use your chopsticks. <laughs> Making French fry kebabs. One, one French fry kebabs. Yummy. So when we're out running errands, we usually hit our local Chinese buffet. It ends up being $27, not including tip for our whole entire family. So with tip, how much is it usually? 35 or so? Closer to $35 once we leave a tip. We all drink water with our meals because of course, if we got soda, that would make the soda cost almost as much as the buffet. The buffet is only $3.99 per person and then kids three and under are free. We have fish tanks everywhere we go, huh guys? Yeah, we do. Even the dentist. The dentist had it, now the Chinese restaurant Hey, mommy, it. look yep. at that sparkly one. I see. Oh, my mommy, oh, look, look at her eyeball. Yeah, I mommy, think she's blind. Mommy, look, all the baby ones, she's blind. all the tiny ones are together. I see that. Look, all the tiny ones I are see. together. Okay, come on guys, let's go on out. We have runaway Amelia here, let me hold her hand. Come on. We're here at the eyeglass place. Try on the black pear sign. We try on those. <laughs> okay, get another pair. What's another one we should get? Okay. I have no idea. I've never checked the grass before. Try on that first black pear you had on. This one? Yeah. <laughs> those look good. Okay. Yeah. Possibly. Big choices. Walmart is starting to get some of its back to school deals up. There's Crayola crayons for 50 cents. Some other brands. Ooh, Expo markers for less than six dollars. That's good. Pack of Sharpies, three Sharpies for less than two. This is always a big one at my house when we can get markers. Here's Rose Art markers for 50 cents and Crayola for 97. And glue sticks, I buy them by the tub when they're this many. They're that price. And we always need to stock up on mechanical pencils when they're marked down like this. Packs regularly $4.24. We're going to get them for $2.27. I got a big stack of them. There's different deals and ways you can work it to get notebooks for $0.10 cents a notebook. But here they have them for $0.17. Cents. And while they're in stock, I'm going to get a whole case of them. There's the notebooks. $0.17 cents a notebook. Sign count and see how many notebooks are in each case there. A 
another thing I'm doing is we're gonna do all about reading and all about spelling this year. And I need to have a large magnetic dry erase board for all the little phonetic tiles that go with the program. So here at Walmart, I'm picking one up for $19. So we're back home now from our shopping haul and I wanted to give you a peek at each of the items that we bought and also the cost breakdown. They are really pulling out a lot of items now at Walmart and marking them down. Those markers that are only 50 cents are a real deal and I'm going to make myself a detailed list of some items I would like to have to load up on for our school year. I know we need a bunch of glue sticks, we have no markers, we have no colored pencils, all the crayons have disappeared. So I plan to go back to Walmart and load up on a lot of those marked down essentials that we need. What I picked up today was, here's one of the large whiteboards. It's a dry erase board. And as I mentioned earlier, what I plan to use this large dry erase board for for our all about reading and our all about spelling curriculum that I'm going to use with the younger children this year. With the letter tiles that and the magnets that come with the set, you really need one of these large dry erase boards to work with the magnets and have the kids work with the lessons every day. So I went ahead and picked this up. Now this big huge thing was $19 at Walmart and so what I did was I actually got two because I wasn't sure if I would need one or two I asked my friend Yulanta from Homeschool Creations she said I only would need one so I bought the one particularly especially for the lessons and then because you know if I have a great big whiteboard that the kids can't use that are just for their school magnets they're gonna want a great big whiteboard to draw on and to do stories on and to work on their letters. Here's the second one I bought just for them. I thought for $19, Gabriel and Liam and Amelia and probably even Naomi will just have a fabulous time with this huge board. We have a lot of small whiteboards and dry erase markers are just something that my kids love, love, love. And because they're erasable, it's perfect and it entertains them for quite a while, especially if I'm working with another child and it's gonna be a few minutes until I can circle around and get to them. A lot of times they'll have a dry erase board sitting beside them and a marker that they picked out and, they, and hey, they get to pick the color and they'll just work on doing a dry erase picture until I get back to them in a moment. Another thing that I bought several packs of are these mechanical pencils. I love mechanical pencils. We do have a pencil sharpener and we will buy boxes of traditional pencils, but mechanical pencils are, seem so much easier for me. So these packs were less than $3 for a pack of 20. I think it was $2.77. So I bought four packs of those for 80 mechanical pencils. And this is the Papermate brand. This is usually I'll grab big packs of these. I know I've spent four to five dollars for packs these size before. So I went ahead and got several packs because otherwise we also get jammed up with, you know, everyone has to sharpen their pencil or people are taking breaks to sharpen their pencil. And it's just a homeschool mom sanity saving tip to have mechanical pencils on hand. Another thing that I got now this is more for fun projects that the kids do, but we always need tape. And these rolls of tape were a buck, which I think is a pretty standard price. But I went ahead and I got three packs because I know it'll probably be gone in one afternoon. We'll get a load of cardboard boxes from Costco or from an order. And my kids are so creative. I'm sure your kids are too. If I give them if I give them some scissors and some tape and some cardboard boxes, before I know it, we have rocket ships, we have police cars, we have houses, we have houses with little doors and little windows, we have chairs. I mean, they will just create for a long time out of these simple, simple materials. So if we have some scotch tape on hand, this stuff is like gold, $3 of gold here. And the final item that I picked up today are the super simple one subject notebooks. These notebooks, I have gotten them before in years past for 10 cents a notebook. Usually towards the end of the, of the rush to buy school supplies, like 
around August or into September once the public schools go back. Great big, these great big boxes will be marked down sometimes to 10 cents a notebook. However, in years past, if I've tried to wait to get the 10 cent deal, then all of a sudden they're not stocked up with cases of notebooks. And what I like to do is buy full cases of these single subject notebooks because Kids write stories in these, they draw pictures in these, they get incredibly creative with simple plain notebooks. So in the description below, I have a couple articles linked for you, giving you great ideas of what you can do in your homeschool with a 17 cent notebook. One of the articles is from my friend Mandy at Life Your Way, and she shares about how her children track their chores in a notebook, they track their allowance, they track their money system. She has her girls do some really neat, simple things, but powerful things with these little spiral notebooks. Another article below is from a friend of mine. Her site is called Amongst Lovely Things, and she has how using a simple, simple spiral notebook has revolutionized their homeschool. Another article that is linked below is by my friend who, she has 15 children, so that mama knows some things, and she shares an article that's over on my free homeschooldeals.com site, and she shares about how using a spiral notebook will be the best homeschool planner you will ever love for 17 cents. She has pictures and a full tutorial on how you can make a dream homeschool planner out of one of these spiral notebooks. And I know in years past, I've tracked our whole homeschool in a spiral notebook. It's worked great. This year, I'm actually gonna try out a homeschool planner from Home Educating Family. They also own Home Educating Family Magazine. Now, they are one of my sponsors on my free homeschool deal site, but I went ahead and purchased one of their well-planned day homeschool planners on my own and I'm gonna give that a try for for my planning for this year so my quick cost breakdown is one of these boxes had anywhere from 22 to 25 notebooks it was less than four dollars for a whole case so I got two cases these pack of pencils they were 277 each but it saves me sanity on not having to fool with a pencil sharpener right now I got six rolls of tape for three dollars and then I got, oh, woo, throwing stuff around here. And then I got these huge dry erase magnetic boards, which I am sure when I am an old lady in my bed, I will still be using these dry erase magnetic boards for something. I got two of these. They were the most expensive purchases. They were $19 each. One is specifically for our reading and for our spelling. And then the other one is just for fun. I will probably use it as a treat. That's it for today, friends. Thank you for watching my homeschool supply haul from Walmart. I'll have more of these coming up in the near future. Let me know in the comments below. For me and for the other homeschool moms we have reading, let me know where you buy your homeschool supplies and how you save money on your supplies for your homeschool. Do you work Staples? Do you work Office Max? Do you work Amazon and online deals? You know, besides, you know, on free homeschool deals, we always have, especially this time of year, a lot of the best homeschool savings. I am waiting for that laminator deal from Amazon. They have an awesome laminator. Sometimes it'll be marked down to $16. Sometimes it'll be $24. And that is always super popular for us homeschool mamas when that deal is up. So I'll be sure to let you know next time we see that one. You guys have a great day and I will chat with you in those comments below. Bye-bye.